Hello everyone. Happy post full moon. Oh, I feel the moon. I don't know if you do, but I feel the moon. And this full moon in Scorpio has, oh my God, it has all of the invitation to you to really connect to what brings you alive. This includes sex, money, your work in the world, your physical health, everything that we deem to be human. Now your opportunity is to see it as divine. And I'm gonna talk about reclaiming, reinterpreting, and integrating the wild woman, wild man archetypes in yourself right now, whatever that means for you. Whatever I say doesn't matter so long as it doesn't resonate with you. So I ask you right now to listen in a level of your soul, your soul like a sponge, really taking in whatever is meant for you. So not on a mental level, not on a conceptual level, not on a level of even your creative potential of absorbing information that is fueling you, but really letting your soul hear this call, this call to wake up, to shake up all of the rubble inside of you right now that is making you feel divided, that is making you feel unfocused, that is making you feel misaligned, that makes you right now comp compartmentalize, <laughs> compartmentalize, oh my God, what a word. That word, that word, let's re redo the word. That makes you feel like you have to put into little boxes parts of you, that parts of you have to be separate, masculine, feminine, dark and light, divine, mundane, corporeal and esoteric, right? I, none of that, all of this, all of you, all of me, this, this camera inside of, inside of this phone, everything is energy, everything is potential. Everything has, has the one meaning that you give it. So right now I ask you to give the meaning that your soul calls you to give to whatever you think, whatever you think needs to be expressed through you right now to claim all parts of you, to integrate your masculine and your feminine, to come into union. And this does not mean balance. I don't care about balance. I want harmony. I want you to come into harmony with me. This is where symphony is playing all these different notes, right? All these different instruments, all the different potentialities that music creates, and they come into harmony. Not balance, harmony. So you are a wild river of energy, of potential, of desire. You right now have the ability to create worlds inside of your body quite literally, inside of your body, inside of your mind. Your soul is here to express whatever spirit is saying through your intuitive pathway to your soul. That is your message right now. So your message right now is whatever needs to come out of you. For me, it's this, ha, ah, ha, ah, I am here. I am here for it. I am here to own my masculine and honor it and be in reverence and bow to it because that part of me, that part of you is what creates tangible results in the world, is what creates structure, is what actually supports my divine feminine, your divine feminine when I listen to you and when I connect to you. That is what we're here to do. We're here to connect all of our energies with each other. So my masculine with your feminine, my feminine with your masculine. We're only using these words for the, I don't know, for the benefit of having a conversation about these things that cannot really be comprehended or expressed through words, through language. Words will fail me over and over and over and I love it because you know that what I'm saying is true for you. There are parts of you right now that you're repressing, that you're judging, that you're refusing that you are not feeding, that you are repressing, because for some reason you've created an identity around them that makes you feel separate, that makes you feel unwhole, that makes you feel unworthy. So I'm gonna ask you very specifically, where is your masculine right now? What wild man archetype within you needs your love, needs you to listen, needs your support, needs you to be a channel what part of your divine feminine, that wild woman, needs to connect with the wild man and come into divine union to 
bring forth to birth into the world whatever it is that you're creating you need all of you all of you we're talking about the feminine rising kundalini awakening that divine feminine force mother earth gaia all of that potentialities life wildness for me it's putting my hair down right letting it down this is it the wild woman my fertility my ability to create my incredible potential for love for empathy for holding space a container right like your womb having a, a heart womb a container for other people to come and express themselves in communion with me that is my divine feminine to be in the unknown because the divine feminine is the wild unknown it's like you never know what's going to happen it's not ne it's never something you can understand or comprehend it's something that flows that expresses that births itself more and more and more as you let it and guess what without the divine masculine without the form around it without the borders of the river without the frame of the painting without the darkness around your iris there is no form there is no tangible reality there is no actual expression that's corporeal that can affect this world in very specific ways that you can celebrate that you can learn from that you can go through and grow with you need both both and so where is your masculine today where is that part of you that knows that wants tangible results that thrives a structure that wants to build solid foundations that wants to support and hold you as you dance freely that doesn't want to control you because guess what when you allow for that masculine energy to be wild and free when you honor it when you bow to it when you do the work the derubbing all of your traumas all of your ideas all of the karmic patterns all of the conditioning that you have around what masculine energy means what masculine figures have meant in your life how you've perceived yourself in regard to that all of that go into it and see today right now where is your masculine how are you honoring it how are you listening to it how are you fathering yourself how are you letting that support your divine feminine force the life right we have that masculine go in and support and then we have the fertile seed of life sprout because it's supported because it's being taken care of because there is a plan for watering it there is a plan and a structure there is a, an extremely beautiful and yet concrete idea of where it should be planted and why that's the masculine and the feminine goes in and it breathes life into it and it's unknown you don't know what's going to happen you don't know what the flower is going to look like never never no flower is like anything else right no flower doesn't matter if it's the same type the same energy right the same genotype you never going to get the same thing why because that is what god is god only knows itself by expressing itself in different forms and connecting and that is what love is is getting to know all parts of god of the universe through form through polarity through contrast you are the one attributing any kind of meaning to anything everything is neutral the darkness your shadows neutral full of potential full of power scary and again this is a label that you put on it because your ego is terrified of what you're going to find so go into the shadows of your masculine and ask yourself how am i judging how am i repressing how am i rejecting that part of me that only wants to hold space in a container for my feminine and how am i not letting myself express that divine feminine energy because i feel too vulnerable i feel too raw i feel too much do you know why because the masculine is being constricted and repressed and it's not allowed to hold your feminine it's not allowed to make it feel safe it's not allowed to converse with and inform your feminine if only you listened what it would say is you are beautiful i just want to watch you i want to witness you i want to see you sprout and birth and create and i'm here to hold space and hold a container around it and i want to watch you hold space for yourself because that's what the feminine does it holds space for itself it impregnates the world right with its own energy 
and the masculine goes in and impregnates the feminine. You see, there really isn't a difference. It's how we perceive it. It's all one energy and it flows one form into the next. And I know I'm saying things that could be contradicted and could be taken you know, apart and analyzed. And that's not what I'm trying to ask you to do. I'm asking you to listen with your soul, not your mind, not your analytical mind. We can have a deep intellectual discussion of what feminine energy means and masculine energy means and kundalini and shakti and can discuss a lot of different ideas from the perspective of religion and psychology and philosophy and the cultural idea we have right now around the feminine and the masculine. What I'm asking you to do is remove all ideas, all ideas, all names, all judgment, remove it and ask yourself right now, how can I come into harmony? How can I come into union within myself where I get to, I get to integrate whatever I see as my masculine right now and my feminine so that they come together and they make love to each other through me and express themselves in whatever I need to say, whatever I need to do, whatever I need to create in my work, in my relationships, in the way that I take care of my body, in the way that I eat, in the way that I walk around and look at other people, in the way that I learn. All of you, all of you, this full moon right now, it doesn't matter, by the way, if you're watching this later, somewhere in the universe on some quantum level, there is a full moon somewhere. So you can connect to it right now if you want to. Connect to that energy of potential and see yourself as completely limitless, borderless. You are everything right now. You are everything. The world is in you and you're in the world. Your soul is within your body and it's also all around you. Your feminine and your masculine cannot, cannot be at war for you to thrive. They cannot repress one another. They can negotiate sometimes. They can butt heads sometimes because of the way that you perceive them. Sometimes they can suffer because of the way that you put them into boxes. But the truth of who you are, the truth of who you are, that divine union and the flow that you're looking for is always available to you. It always exists on some quantum level. That's why, that's why it's so easy to access. Once you let it actually flow, all you have to do is say, I'm here, I'm available, I am a channel for this energy, and I am highly present to what it has to say through me. And only then do you bring in your mind and you allow your mind, and again, you can identify it as masculine if you want, right? The analytical part of your mind. What does this mean? How can I create structure right now? How can I support my dreams, my goals, my ideas, so that I'm not walking around in this wobble of energy and not getting anything done and just confusing myself and everyone else and feeling like I'm too much, I'm too emotional, I shouldn't be my feminine, right? I should go and become a goal getter. I'm, I'm never, I'm not allowed to be creative because it's just destructive, no. It's only destructive when you're not in union within yourself, where you're not allowing the flow of both energies to come through you into oneness. And that oneness has no gender. It is all one and it's nothing all at the same time. Why is it nothing? Because you can't quantify it, but you know what it feels like in your soul. And that's why I'm asking you to listen with your soul. Listen with your soul like a sponge, like a sea sponge. Just absorb everything I'm saying and ask yourself, where is that divine masculine in me? What does it need me to know? What is it asking me right now to allow it to support? Can you allow your masculine to support what your divine feminine is wanting to create? Can you allow yourself to step away from the identity you may have created that feels like she's too much, like she's not She's not allowed to express her fullness because she'll be judged, burnt at the stake, rejected. That is all a projection of your ego. That may be a past life. That may be a karmic pattern. That may be a history that you're literally carrying in your womb. So go in, work on this right now. Ask yourself, what is true for my soul right now? What does my masculine ask me to allow it to support? And what is my feminine craving to express in union with my masculine? How can I dance on this floor that is potent, that is alive, that is only, only there to support me in my evolution? 
that is only there to guide me? How can I allow my feminine to dance on this masculine? You can have a vision of just the floor around you, just full of energy, full of whatever you consider to be father, warrior, wise, beautiful, loving, sage, masculine energy. Someone you can lean on. Someone you can sit with that will listen to you. Someone who was, who was created to witness your beauty as the feminine. Whether you're in a female or a male body, it doesn't matter. And how can your feminine then go and dance like a ballerina around this floor, expressing its wildness, knowing that in doing that, it invites the wildness of the masculine. And in doing that, none of you is unruly. None of you is a flood. It is contained in a divine space and it is expressed in a way that benefits you and everyone else, that is concrete when it needs to be, that is abstract when it needs to be, that is engaging to other people because they recognize their own soul's urge to express their own union. So beyond the archetypes, beyond the forms, beyond the identities that we associate with the divine masculine, divine feminine, forget all of that. What part of you needs to dance and what part of you needs, needs to hold sacred container for that dance, to witness it, to guide it, to inform it, to give it feedback, to say, hey, let's dance over here. Look, look, this is a beautiful space where you can relax and fall down and just let your beautiful body absorb the energy of the sun. Let's do it now. That's the masculine informing your feminine. It's time to sit within this energy and just watch yourself get pregnant again with the next idea, with the next dance that you're gonna express through your body. Express the dance through it. Express your dance through your body, however that looks. In an email you write, in a text you write, everything you do creates a new world. So how you come to this action you're gonna take, how you're gonna to come to the conversation you're gonna have, how are you going to come to the next relationship you have or the one you're in right now? Determines the outcome. It is all happening right now. All potentialities of the future is happening right now. All of your past stories are being rewritten right now and I ask you to do this. Listen with your soul and ask yourself, how is my divine masculine asking to be expressed? How is it asking me to let it support my divine feminine? And then, how can my beautiful, life-giving, feminine force express itself today in a way that takes my own breath away, that scares me a little because it's so wild, and yet I'm fully trusting. Why? Because I know it is being supported. It's in harmony with the part of me that has been rejected, that has been judged, that has been scary, perhaps. A lot of us are afraid of our masculine, just as we're afraid of our feminine, for different reasons, but we're afraid. Why? because we're afraid to express our wholeness. Because guess what happens when you do? You recognize you don't need anything outside of you to feel whole, none of it, it's all a game. It's all a game for you to express more and more and more of you. You are whole and worthy and complete right now, only if you allow yourself to be. So I'm asking you to allow yourself to feel that wholeness and completeness and express it by doing concrete work concrete work, asking your feminine and your masculine what they want to say to you and how you can come into harmony with them and actually express them and how different that looks today than it would have looked yesterday. No, con no concepts, no stories, no identities, just you and your soul right now and this invitation to dance, to dance on your own floor within your own castle. You are the dancer and the floor and the castle and the energy that gives life to the dancer. All of it, all of it comes back to one. Life, death, life. So celebrate the fullness of yourself and ask yourself, where is that wild man archetype in you right now? What does he need to do for you? We're using pronouns for the sake of understanding certain things. What does he need to say to you? How much love is he waiting to give to you that you've been rejecting? How much guidance has it he, he wanting to offer you 
that you feel is too rigid, too scary for the feminine. It is not. If it's in union, if it's in harmony, it is not. It is in service. It's like you're bringing an amazing, abundant plate of food to someone. All of it is needed. All of it is needed. All parts of this delicious meat or fruit that you're offering are needed for the completeness of its expression and for it to come and benefit your body in the way that only it can. You are your own food. You are your own creator. You are your own muse. And you are the energy you need to create worlds in this life. So create your world today from that place of asking where you can come into union and where you can marry and express and fall in love with the love making between your masculine and your feminine. Masculine, feminine, feminine, masculine. How can you flow with them today? Where is the structure? Where is the flow? Where is it missing in your life? Start there. Where is it missing? And how can you reimagine what you thought to be possible from this perspective? Shake it all up. Shake it all up. And from this perspective, right now, what part of you needs to be expressed? How can you dance your own unique soul's expression? And how can you let your masculine energy support it? And how can you then take account of the work you've done? Take account of it. Allow yourself to see the growth of your soul. Say thank you to spirit. Say thank you to me and you, all of us that are co-creating this reality. Know that this has uplifted the consciousness of the world. It has. Why? Because I'm infusing this with love. And so are you. And every time and any time you do that, you uplift the consciousness of the world. And the only reason to do this work, any work, archetypal work, dark goddess work, coaching, healing, learning, whatever it is, any, anything you do, the only reason for it is to be more love, is to be more God. You can't be more, you are. But for you to actually express it, you need to go deeper and allow for more of it to flow every single day. That is the only reason for us to be here, in my opinion, right now. My opinion is not coming from me. It's coming from somewhere else right now. How do you, how do you believe in God or in the universe? Carl Jung said, I don't believe in God, I know God. And I had this download a couple days ago. I asked God, how oh, I wanna see you today. And, and he, she, that which is God, which is everywhere and nowhere, within me and you, above and below, <laughs> that which is you and me right now, it said to me, be me, that's how we meet. So I'm asking you to be that. and." Make it concrete by working with the feminine and the masculine, also because it's fun. Also because it's a lot of fun. We're here to enjoy the body. Enjoy all of the learnings. Enjoy all the teachings. Enjoy being human. Conceptualize it if you need to. But before that, go within and ask your soul, what do I need to do today to express the fullness of myself in my masculine and in my feminine? And then enjoy it. Enjoy it through your body. See it in other people. Hold space for that divine expression in others. You can only do it by holding space for it within you. Do it. Do it. Do it. And forget all of your identities and the labels you put upon yourself. None of that matters. None of that is you. None of that is you. Ask yourself, why am I putting this label on myself? Why do I want to play into this identity? Most of the time, the answer is your ego. I don't care if you call me a man or a woman. I don't care, actually. All I care is that we connect and that you hear my soul speak. And however it needs to express itself right now, I identify as a woman. I absolutely love it. That's what it is. But I'm not attached to it. Because I am nothing and everything. And so are you. And that is all that matters. Coming back to that knowing. I don't need to believe in God, I know God. Why? Because that is who I am. And that is who you are. And that is the only place I wanna to talk to you from and to right now. And I know I'm probably failing miserably in my human expression in doing that. My mind keeps coming in and that's okay. It's all part of the expression. Polarity, contrast, that's how God knows itself. It's all needed, it's all needed, it's all necessary. 
That's why we're all actors on a stage, right? We're both the director, the writer, the actor, and the stage itself. We're also the costumes and the lights. So just know that today you get to be all of it, but ask yourself, what is your soul need from you? How can you make it simple, deep, non-negotiable, radically honest right now so that you step into your fullness and you do create the world you want to live in by creating it within yourself, by allowing it within yourself, by dancing in it within yourself and then expressing it outwardly because guess what? You won't, you won't be able not to express it. <laughs> Once you hold it within you, there is no way you can't not express it. You will be expressing it in everything and anything you do. And you won't care too much about the outcome because the purpose of your life is becoming more of who you are through the action of being alive. And that can only happen in the present moment, right now. So where is your masculine? Where is your feminine? Where is the wild man? Where is the wild woman? If you're curious to know more, if you want to work with this more, let me know. Send me a message. Comment. I want to know. I want to know how you feel. I want to know what you want. I want to know where you are. I want to know who you are. Remember who you are. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day and be brave, be wild, be you. Enjoy this world. Mwah.